Hey everyone, recently I've been making these videos where I call out and correct articles that are very clearly biased and I've actually been really enjoying it and I'm thinking of making it a regular part of the channel. If that's something you want to see, let me know. The idea is that maybe if we can correct the record and get enough publicity showing the public just how crooked and biased some of these media outlets are, maybe those outlets will be forced to actually do research and improve. It's a pipe dream, but I figured it's worth a shot. With that being said, I'm going to need your help with these, so if you see a news story or article or whatever it is that's just ridiculously biased or just plain bad, send it my way and I'll try and cover it. The best way to reach me would be at sam.alexander.yt at gmail.com. I'll have a below, but you can also DM me on Twitter. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to today's stupidly biased article. For this story, we're heading across the pond to the UK to talk about an article from the Sunday Times, which is a massive British newspaper that's been around for almost two centuries. A few days ago, they put out an article titled 10 Electric Cars to Buy in 2021, which is just a lovely title, so I gave it a read. I was surprised to see that Tesla wasn't in the top three, so I kept scrolling only to find out there isn't a single Tesla in the whole list of 10 electric cars to buy in 2021. How is that even possible? So I said to myself, well, I'm not as familiar with the exact Tesla sales into the UK. Maybe they aren't as popular as I thought. And so I looked it up and nope, the Model 3 is by far the best selling EV in the UK in 2020. So then I looked back at 2019 and would you look at that? The Model 3 is still by far the best seller in the EV category. So then I was thinking, well, maybe they're only putting the cars that are most affordable, except they have the Polestar 2 in there, which starts at 60 grand and the Porsche Taycan that starts around a hundred grand or something like that. So it's definitely not the price. So I started scrambling for ideas and I thought maybe people just don't like the Model 3 in the UK. So I checked into that and nope, it's constantly rated among the top three EVs in the UK. So that got me thinking, if you're a writer for the Sunday Times and you're trying to provide your audience with the best information possible when writing about what electric vehicles to buy in 2021, what could the rationale be to leave out the by far best selling EV in the UK? And just to clarify, the Sunday Times isn't some tiny publication. They are absolutely massive. They have a reach of around 15.4 million monthly readers in Great Britain alone. And the vast majority of those readers are over the age of 35, which means they generally have more expendable income, which is important when writing articles about expensive electric cars. Also, the average age of the Tesla buyer is in their mid 40s, so they squarely hit that demographic. So I sat and I thought about it. What rational reason could motivate the writer who's trying to give the audience the most useful information possible to leave out the best selling and usually top rated EV in the UK from their list? Because I try and give people the benefit of the doubt. and. I couldn't come up with a single reason. I actually have nothing. If you have an idea for why it would be in the reader's best interest to not see Tesla on the list, let me know because I seriously don't have a clue. But that led me to my next line of reasoning. What would the writer's motivation be to intentionally leave Tesla off that list? And for a second I thought, well, maybe the writer doesn't know about Tesla. But that doesn't hold water because if you're making a list of the top 10 EVs, you have to search around a bit. And I'm pretty invested in the EV community and I didn't recognize a few of the EVs on that list, like the MGZS EV. Never heard of it. And even someone who hasn't heard of Tesla, if they're looking at EVs, they're gonna see Tesla everywhere. And if they did their due diligence, which I'm not sure anybody does anymore, but if they did, they would see the EV sales numbers and see the Model 3 topping the charts. Oh, and they mentioned Tesla in the article saying, Tesla watch out when talking about the MGZS EV. So no, there was no way the writer just didn't know about Tesla. It was an intentional decision to leave them out of the EVs to buy in 2021 article. What motive motivation does a giant publication like the Sunday Times have to intentionally slight Tesla? Well, I have a few reasons. They aren't exactly proven, but here's what I think. As we know, car manufacturers pay billions of dollars in advertising to media outlets. In 2019, just in the US, the automotive industry paid nearly $16 billion for digital ads alone. In the UK, it's not nearly as high, but automotive manufacturers are still paying over 2 billion pounds annually for digital ads. I couldn't find the exact breakdown for the Sunday Times on how much they get paid from the automotive industry, but we can assume based on the sheer magnitude of the Sunday Times, it's a lot. 
As most of you know, Tesla doesn't pay for ads. That's just not the way they do business. So media outlets are motivated by money to put out content that puts the companies who are paying their bills in a good light. We've seen it time and time again. And because Tesla doesn't pay for advertising, the traditional media has zero motivation to cover Tesla favorably. Now, obviously not all media outlets are the same, so we shouldn't lump them all together. But for the extremely large ones, there's a very good chance that they're receiving money from traditional automotive manufacturers. So then we have the media outlets who are getting that money from the automotive manufacturers, and now here's their predicament. The better those traditional automotive manufacturers do, the more money the media will get. The better Tesla does, and in turn the worse the traditional automotive manufacturers do, the less money the media gets. So it's quite literally in their best interest to skew the narrative against Tesla. And just to be clear, not all media does this. There are some honest media outlets and some journalists who have integrity, but they are getting more and more rare. So it really wouldn't surprise me if this article was done to spite Tesla. Something like, Well, yeah, you may be the best-selling and most popular EV in the UK, but you don't pay us any advertising revenue, so we won't even mention your products to our millions of customers. It could be as simple as that. But this is what really kills me about the situation. The Sunday Times also receives millions of dollars from subscriptions. At their peak, they had 1.3 million subscribers who were each paying between 15 and 43 pounds per month. Those people are paying to get the best information possible, regardless of what other companies are paying the Times to get a stamp of approval. Those are the people I really feel sorry for because they're paying for a service. And if they trust the Sunday Times, which I suspect they probably would since they're giving them a good amount of money, then they're paying for extremely biased information. And that's just hard to watch. Now this is only one article, so on its own it really doesn't mean anything, but I'm trying to call out this anti-Tesla propaganda when I see it. And I realize to most people it probably sounds like I'm crazy, but I'm sure most of you guys follow Tesla pretty closely. And you can see the media coverage of Tesla is so ridiculously negative it doesn't even make sense. The amount of anti-Tesla articles you read is just mind-boggling. And look, I'm all for criticism. I think Tesla rightfully deserves it in a lot of ways. But most of the articles aren't that. Most of them are just poorly researched and highly biased hit pieces, and I'm not about that. The shocking thing to me is how often they come from such highly regarded media outlets. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but just the other day, Barron's and Business Insider put out some shockingly awful coverage of Tesla. I cover them in separate videos if you want to check those out, but I really do think for a lot of these media outlets that are slamming on Tesla, the reason goes back to the money. If you follow the money, at least a lot of the times, you can uncover the truth. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. What do you guys think about the Sunday Times leaving Tesla out of their 10 electric cars to buy in 2021? Also, what do you think about the media's coverage of Tesla in general? Am I crazy? Oh, and don't forget to email me if you bump into some really biased articles. I'd appreciate the help. All right, I'll see you all in the next one. Ooh.